Good morning and a happy Easter to everyone. The six weeks of Lent are now over and we can rejoice in the risen Lord. Today and subsequent Sundays after Easter, I want to focus on the first readings, which come from the Acts of the Apostles. Today, we hear St Peter making the great proclamation of the good news of the Gospel after he had baptised Cornelius and his whole household. Peter, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, speaks of the mandate that follows from the resurrection. He and his fellow disciples are to proclaim the risen Lord. Peter and his fellow disciples are called apostles or messengers because they are people sent out on a mission. They are ambassadors for Christ, as St Paul calls them. We too are called to that mission by the very right of our baptism. We're not just disciples, followers of Jesus. We're also meant to be his living ambassadors. No one will know about Jesus and what he means for our lives unless we tell them. Many people will have been baptised on this Easter night just gone, or will be baptised in the coming weeks of Eastertide. Not a single one of them came to the church without the intervention of a Christian somewhere. The good news about Jesus is not to be kept a secret. There are many people waiting to hear it. They are depending on you and me, members of Christ's body, to tell them about the good news of the risen Lord Jesus. Mary was the first to experience the resurrection and she is the first to proclaim this great news to the whole world. Mary experienced the resurrection in a very personal way and they went and told the other disciples that she had met and spoken with the risen Lord. Pope Francis in his letter, The Joy of the Gospel, says to each and every one of us, every Christian is a missionary to the extent that they have experienced the love of Jesus Christ. Mary did not keep the good news of the resurrection to herself and neither can we. Just as Jesus called Mary by her name, he calls each one of us by our name today. Like her, we are called to be missionary disciples who share and proclaim the good news of the resurrection with all those we meet. We do this in the countless ordinary ways in the quality of our daily lives and how we treat and behave with others. The resurrection of Christ is not an event that took place long ago. It's an event that continues to take place when we patiently walk with our Lord through the trials and crosses and sufferings of life, with hope and trust in his power to all good things. Evil always loses in the end when we remain steadfast in our hope in him. As we celebrate the reality of the resurrection of Christ, let's ponder the promise. He has spoken to you. If you have surrendered all to him and died to the world of sin, keep your eyes on the resurrection. Have hope in him and in his power to breathe new life even into the heaviest cross that you may carry. Reflect today upon the unfathomable plan that God has for your life. Know that if you remain faithful to the end, our Lord will bring forth greater joys in your life than you could ever think possible. It may not happen according to your schedule or your wishes, but it will happen in accord with his perfect divine will. Do not doubt, do not be afraid, have hope and trust and anticipate the moments when the power of the resurrection brings forth the greatest joys you could ever imagine. May you have a blessed day and a blessed holy a blessed Eastertide. God bless you.